Warm greetings from campus and go Bears. Hi, I'm Larry Rosenthal. I serve as the program director for Berkeley's Center on Civility and Democratic Engagement. I couldn't join you for today's South Bay gathering, so I thought I'd provide a brief video report. I'll discuss just two of our many programs at the Center on Civility and Democratic Engagement. First, our civility fellowships, and then our research proposals to develop connections between the Common Core Standards and the civility curriculum. First, our civility fellowships. We are concluding a very successful fundraising year supporting these fellowships, and they're now on a much firmer financial footing, thanks to the ongoing generosity of our partners in the class of 1968, as well as financial contributions from the matching funds of the grad division here on campus. A good example of all that the Civility Fellowship uh, can do in the world is our uh, Civility Fellow from Spring 2014, Emily Vaughn. Emily's Civility Project took place in the city of Oakland, where she studied very carefully Oakland's use of online technology to reach out to its citizens and help them make a difference in the democracy in the city. Emily has a mixed report. While there's a lot of very interesting experimentation and innovation going on in city agencies, using uh, new tools, new platforms that make um, voice more accessible for Oakland's residents, she finds, unfortunately, two key missing ingredients. First, Oakland and many cities like it that are using these online tools are not staffing them sufficiently to ensure that all of the new content the ideas of these citizens, their complaints, their proposals for action are assembled and communicated very effectively to decision makers and elected officials. Another key ingredient that Emily recommends is a more coordinated and integrated strategy across the city to ensure that units are working together rather than in a fragmented fashion. And without that kind of coordination, we suspect, and Emily shows, uh, these efforts in cities are likely to remain only fragmented. We're excited uh, and uh, uh, delighted by the uh, research product that Emily has produced as part of her Civility Fellowship. It's a provocative and interesting report, and we're reducing it to policy brief form. Uh, we'll be posting it as a policy brief on the Center on Civility and Democratic Engagement website soon. So stay tuned for that. Let me turn now in my remaining few minutes towards our efforts to build a research program around the connections between what we call the civility curriculum and the emerging common core standards. All of us remember learning civics and social studies, great lessons about the structure of government, the role of the three branches, American history, the United States Constitution, the Bill of Rights, key topics that inspired us towards a richer and more engaged civic life as adult citizens. We believe in that curriculum, but we believe it's insufficient given current political conditions. That curriculum needs to be enriched by deeper, more personal psychological messages and messages about ethics and virtue. Young people need to be taught that in order to effectively participate and own their own democracy, they need to understand values of civility values of consensus building, the skills of looking for compromise where only disagreement appears, and understanding that ongoing partisanship and polarization in our political systems ultimately are destructive to the ends of our constitutional democratic system. We have seen interesting developments in what we could call the new civics as it's been built over the last few years, and we want to participate by uh, developing a research program we're going to start by forging connections between the new civics, the civility enriched civics, if you will, and the emerging Common Core standards. As many of you know, the Common Core stresses math, science, and reading, but perhaps it gives too short shrift to improving and upgrading civics and teaching the skills necessary for successful and engaged citizenship in the future. We think this curriculum should develop lessons early in life in K through five, as students are learning to read and becoming um, uh, full participants and building the capacity to learn civics, and then continue into the middle school years and high school. We also believe that the same lessons of civility and consensus building and compromise should be emphasized greatly in higher education 
and made a part of lifelong learning for adults. And we're excited that we found some early partners in this effort and we're developing research proposals to interested foundations. I'll have more news on that in reports to come from the Center on Civility and Democratic Engagement. In the meantime, I look forward to gathering with you uh, at future meetings and also hearing from you directly. Uh, please use the contact information you've been provided at the meeting today to reach out to me directly with your support, uh, your interest, and your ideas for how we can continue to make the Center on Civility and Democratic Engagement as successful as it can. This is Larry Rosenthal, Program Director of the Center on Civility and Democratic Engagement at UC Berkeley, and this is the end of my video report. Thank you so much for your attention and have a wonderful day.